Hello, I'm Delta One here with Airsoft Talk. This is my personal channel, and I'm posting this as a video response to Echo One's comparison to their LMG. Um, first, I want to say I have no problem with Echo One as a company. I just wanted to clarify some things that they've compared their RPK to. Uh, first off, I want to mention they're two totally separate guns. You can't compare the Echo One RPK or LMG to a SRC RPK 47. One of the problems I have with this video, guys, and I'm, I'm just throwing some constructive criticism. I'm not saying you're wrong or you're terrible. I just want to mention some things. One, you compare it uh, be, for whatever the reason, you can't really compare the two. Uh, you have an RPK 74. You're going to have the best one on the market because you only have the only one on the market. So that's what makes the Echo One RPK good. Now, one of the things I want to talk about also is that how y'all compared the stocks. RPK 47s weren't anywhere near as common as the 74s in terms of real firearms. Um, therefore, that's why the other one has a different stock as on the SRC. Two, you compared the barrel lengths. The barrel lengths are completely different. Yours is supposedly only 520. Uh, don't quote me exactly. The, however, the SRC version is 590 and can house up to a 650 without sticking too far out of the barrel. Um, another thing, you mentioned that there was a screw on top of the bipod. That is there to hold it in place and to let it wobble freely side to side a little bit. And is also you can take it out so it can move 100% freely the way it wants to. Another thing, uh, you compared the reinforced body. They're both reinforced bodies. They're completely different. An AK-74 doesn't typically have that grip that it sticks into as to where the 47 does. To be honest, the 47 has that there and is a little bit more reinforced than a 74 model because you have it physically working on them alone is a different story and the only way I can explain how the 47 one is better is that the handguards are shorter and it's just for whatever reason it, it's a little more reinforced because I have an AK-74 and I have AK-47s. Now another thing you mentioned is that the uh, SRC doesn't have a side rail and the Echo One does. Well, there's a reason for that. It's a 74. Again, you can't really compare the two because a 47 is not a 74. It doesn't come with a side rail. The only 47 variant that does on the market that isn't gunsmithed on is an arsenal. And the only Arsenal Airsoft RPK is the Classic Army RPK, and that's a 47. Another thing that y'all mentioned is that the hop-ups uh, are different. Indeed, they are. Uh, they're both good in their own way. You have a Mad Bull Blue Bucking, one of the best buckings on the planet, not knocking it down or anything. However, the SRC RPK... I don't know if it's just the TSD version, but there is kind of what's supposed to look exactly like a Mad Bull fish nub, whatever, fishtail nub, or a polar star nub that is built into it, that is metal. Now that has a downfall as well, because it is metal and is a lot more, a lot more supposing to tearing, um, depending on how you play. Now another thing, that I want to mention. They're both steel, pretty much. Um, I believe the SRC is not steel, but it is nowhere near to say that it is not a strong body. I've used them many times. Now, I don't know how the battery compartment would be to compare to the SRC to the RPK-74. I've never fooled with a 74 before because there's only one on the market. Um, they both have very large battery compartments. You can house 4,000, maybe a, maybe a 4,000 milliamp LiPo, depending on which one you buy, will fit in both, depending. Now, another thing, 
that y'all said. Y'all mentioned the internals had steel gears and a steel motor. I mean, a super high torque motor. When you were comparing the two, you didn't do anything about internal comparison except for the hop up. Now, I'm not saying yours is bad, and I'm not saying mine isn't bad either. There's flaws on each side, and you didn't even uh, you didn't really clarify which RPK you had. For all I know, you could have had a TSD, you could have had a Gen 2 RPK, or you could have had a Gen 3 RPK. I can't compare the two, so I'm going to leave it at this. You have a 7mm, and more likely the odds you're going to have a 6mm SRC RPK gearbox. Both great gearboxes. Per, uh, personal preference, I prefer 6 or an 8. I've had more problems with 7, and I'm not knocking anyone's down. That's just what I've had more problems with, uh, because for whatever the reason, I probably just had bad luck. Um, but normally, you see more 6 and 8 millimeter gearboxes. But on that note, your RPK Echo 1 is a great RPK. I'm not going to knock it down. But when you compare the two by price, you can get an SRC RPK for pretty cheap. And I'm not saying yours is expensive, but you also stated that you get two mags with yours. I can get two mags with mine and get a drum magazine in a standard 600 round. Yours comes with two RPK styled. If you're going to compare the two, if you're going to go for a more originality RPK, I'm going to go tell you to buy an Echo 1. And that's what Echo 1 went for. But if you're going to buy an RPK for the purpose that it was designed for, get a drum mag. Um, if you're going to compare the two, the average SRC or TSD RPK goes for around $365. If you're going to buy it off aspecairsoft.com, you get it for $350. We're going to drop the price probably to $340. Um, and I'm, I'm not just saying that for this, the, the sake of this video um, at all. I'm just saying you can get the same two. But again, then you compared that this one comes with a battery and charger, but this one doesn't. But you have a huge trade-off. You have a drum mag or no battery. And I'm not saying the Echo 1 is bad in any form or fashion. All it is is a rebranded SEMA. And I don't know if Echo 1 paid off SEMA like they did for their MP5K. I would really like to know because I would love to see the SEMA 1 come out as well and compare the two. And I know that Echo 1, you do a bunch of changes to guns but I'm just saying you really can't compare the two and I'm not gonna say the SRC one's better because it comes with a drum mag because the your Echo 1 comes with a actual original styled RPK how they are made today and how they are known for because if you think about an RPK you don't think of a 47 version you think of a 74 because of the side mount the way the wood is in the magazine because typically you think RPK I personally think of a 74 I know they've made 47 versions but my whole point to this video is that they're both great choices and I'm not going to degrade one or another but personally you're buying an RPK you're buying it to use it as a support gun or a DMR not an assault rifle and if you want, you can use it as a sniper rifle depending on how you go about it. But again, the proving points, you're saying the wood is different. Well, they were different for each model. Uh, you're saying that the bipod has a screw on it and yours doesn't. Well, that's a trade-off in both ways. Uh, one, you can have more movement and free freeness in the bipod. Two, you compared the fact that the bodies were different. Um, you compared and said that yours was a reinforced. They're all reinforced. Every single receiver is basically reinforced if it's metal. Yours is steel. I'm not 100% sure if the SRC one is steel, but it's a really high quality metal for what it is. You didn't really touch on the internals. I don't blame you because, well, it's completely different. But as you were saying there's no need to upgrade it I'd like to know what piston you're using um, as opposed to the SRC Gen 2 pistons they're actually pretty dang good uh, I ran 11C LiPo all day I mean a 20C I uh, know a 10C 2100 milliamp LiPo all day 400 FPS and 120 spring all day long didn't strip my piston I'm not saying yours is gonna strip Echo 1 but I'm just saying 
you didn't really touch anywhere up on the internals to compare the two. And I can understand that because your company, you're not trying to downgrade someone else's. And I'm not trying to downgrade yours. I'm just kind of comparing how they should have been compared because you really can't compare the two. Now, I don't know if you're going to watch this, but I appreciate you listening for my 10 minutes of rambling on. But I just wanted to throw that out there. They're both fantastic RPKs. I'm personally going to buy one in the future. But I just thought I'd throw my two cents out there. And guys, thanks for watching my video on the Echo One RPK versus SRC TSD, whatever. But guys, thanks for watching. And make sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and troll if you want. But again, I've said it before. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.